everyone, Tomer here with another video for my Sourcing Monster YouTube channel. Today I want to talk with you about an important report that is available within the Amazon Sponsored Product Report, the Gross and Invalid Traffic Report. These reports allow you to view important metrics related to invalid traffic that may be filtered out of your sponsored product campaigns. Having visibility into invalid traffic like bots, duplicate clicks, and other not legit sources can help you better optimize your campaigns and ensure you're only paying for real valuable traffic. In this video, I'll give you an overview of what exactly the gross and invalid traffic report shows, who can access it, and how you can use this insight from this report to improve your sponsored product campaigns and save money on low quality traffic. So if you're running sponsored products, and want to better monitor invalid traffic, make sure to watch this video to learn how to use this powerful report. Attention Sourcing Monster viewers, this video brought to you by Trademark 360. Need a trademark ace for Amazon brand registry? Look no further. First consultation, totally free. Affordable rates and specialized service. Check out the raving reviews at trademark360.com. Mention Sourcing Monster for VIP treatment and an exclusive discount. Trademark 360. From search to registration, they've got your back. Protect your brand the 360 way. Schedule your free consultation now. Link in the first comment and in the video description. All right, so how you can actually access this report and uh, it's a super important report because it allows us to understand better about our invalid traffic, traffic that is not legit and it might not give us a lot of tools to deal with it with invalid traffic, but at least when you have awareness, when you understand better how your invalid traffic looks like and where or which campaigns are getting those invalid clicks, the, you, you can actually post those campaigns or lower their budget and that will help you fight with those invalid clicks. So first of all, let's try to understand where this traffic coming from. So we have to go to measurement and reporting within the advertising console first and generate these reports. We're going to click on sponsored ad reports and we're going to click on create report and under sponsored products, we're going to choose under report type the gross and invalid traffic. I suggest that you do it for whatever dates it's allowing you to create it for, for myself. It's actually allowing you to create it for a really long time. Actually here from September 22 up to now, like a year, which is awesome. And um, I'm going to create it like that. For now, what I did, I just created the sample report for a month period. As you can see here, and I'm going to download it and show you how it looks. Okay, so this is how the report looks. I did change the campaign names just to campaign, uh, not to reveal my campaign, real campaign names. Uh, but basically what I like to do is I like to go to data if you're using Excel and filter it. And then I'm going to sort it by the number of invalid clips for, uh, clicks from the largest to the smallest. And that's only for a period of 30 days. And you can see here that I, if you summarize all these clicks, we're talking about 31, 34 clicks, and I have an average of $1 per click. So that means that we technically pay, uh, we have to still figure it out, but uh, we might pay more than $3,000 of invalid clicks. And it's something that, you know, Amazon should really uh, make more transparent. And I feel that with this report, they are just like kind of covering their <clears throat> themselves, showing that they are doing some efforts to help sellers but still doesn't give us any tools we don't see reports of ips like other platforms allowing us like google if i see like ips and a lot of clicks from certain ips i can actually block those ips from seeing my ads on google and on amazon it doesn't really have like this option what they're only giving us is just this report but it doesn't really give us a lot of control the only control we have is like pause or really reduce budgets for campaigns with really high invalid invalid uh click rate so again I'm, I'm going to sort it by high to low and then you can either create filters to show you maybe top or 20 percent like this campaign got 38 clicks but 31 percent of the traffic was invalid clicks 
So maybe I should dig deep into it and see what's going on. 65% of the impressions were like fake impressions, invalid. Um, and it could be duplicate clicks, like someone already clicked a few times on your ad, um, or uh, you know, valid impression could be bots, and Amazon recognizing that those are bots or not a real person. And they could be just scrapers or some general things that going, you know, in the internet. They, I, I forgot where I heard it, but uh, they assumed or they have this assumption that uh, like 30 or 25% of the traffic in, over the internet is just invalid traffic by bots and uh, computers that either scan it or, uh, you know, trying to achieve like scraping data and stuff like that. So um, you can see here the invalid impression rate. And this is a campaign that what I did, I reduced the budget dramatically because I know that it's trigger a lot of invalid, invalid traffic. Uh, here the same, it get a lot of impressions, the in invalid click, through uh, the click rate is not that high, um, but still get a lot of uh, bad traffic. So we want to analyze and realize what kind of campaigns we have those traffic and actively monitor those campaigns. And if we see increase, then open tickets with Amazon seller support to see maybe we can get credit for those clicks. Maybe they can do something that we, from with, with, with what we got, can't really do, but they're support with their custom tools can do and that you know that will cost you nothing and it's really always uh good to try and the more i will have experience with this opening ticket with them and see the responses the more i can share with you my audience about my results but this is a very uh cool report that you can help you identify and once you identify those campaigns can actually take action with our limited um uh toolbox but still, it's allowing us to uh, uh, find those high invalid click rate campaigns or invalid impression rate campaigns and either pose them or reduce the budgets. And that's what we have right now. And we also can uh, open tickets with seller support, their advertising support and see what they say. Maybe they can do their own blocking on some stuff that we cannot do again. Uh, but it's really helpful. Um, that's it for this video. If you like those kind of videos where I share like reports, specific reports and tips that not a lot of uh, channels and sellers are talking about, let me know uh, because these are the things that um, are really important that not a lot of people are talking about. So let me know in the comment section. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.